Good morning and welcome to the Nothstein Preserve here in the Pocono Mountains of Pennsylvania. I am here today with Darcy from Darcy's Hiking Diaries and we are gathering here to explore this small preserve of about 150 acres that uh, I've been curious about for a while. Now there's a series of uh, preserves here in the region, some open space and uh, this is one of the ones we're going to be checking out today. A couple miles of trails. It's a bit of an overcast day. We're hoping for some sunshine and we're just going to document the, uh, the trail here and, and see what we see. So let's stop talking. Let's start walking. And uh, we thank you for joining us for some nature, adventure, and discovery. So we're starting out on this uh, little bit of a like a road here. It's a bit muddy. Seen some deer tracks. Seen some paw prints from a dog. And uh, we just passed a sign saying that the creek here, Cranberry Creek, and I think the, the primary focus of this preserved land is to protect the integrity of the water in Cranberry Creek. Uh, there is a native population of, of brook trout, so you can fish here, but it, it's catch and release only. So. That's a sign that the waters here are, are healthy and clean and they, they want to keep it that way. We have just made a left turn. We are climbing up a bit of a hillside seeing some post-it signs for private property. So the preserve here is a small nature preserve. There's a lot of development pressure in this part of the Poconos. So it's really essential to preserve as much of these uh, remaining wooded areas as possible. Um, but yeah, this is not like a deep wilderness area hike. This is more like a small nature area that should have a few interesting features. So we're moving on and uh, Everything's looking pretty good so far. We're walking along uh, this hillside now through like these um, rocky, like like shale outcroppings, and uh, there's lots of interesting. Uh, uh, like moss and lichen on the ground very colorful, but um, we're also on the border of the uh, preserved property Lots of signage. So please stay on the trail because the, the preserve does back up to Private property and the trail is well blazed. It's like maybe over blazed with these yellow blazes Continuing along the trail when we're doing uh discussing the inner workings of, <laughs> of YouTube and shorts and editing and so frustrating. <laughs> but look at this the Sun is beginning to come out giving uh, little pops of light and uh, that morning light on that soft blue sky absolutely beautiful So check this out. We've come to this, what I can only describe as, looks like an old quarry, uh, some type of, of shale quarry. This is a really neat feature here. All right, so I find it pretty interesting because this quarry here uh, creates almost like a kind of like a different micro climate here and this is probably a very hot area certain species we have some pitch pine along the perimeter and these cliffs i guarantee you are going to be a place where you're going to encounter uh, snakes at times and there's even like a huge uh, pool of water here at the base of of these cliffs 
and uh, that's going to attract uh, wildlife as well. There was some coyote scat in the uh, grass over there, so pretty interesting. So clearly this place was used for industrial activity in its past. You get a little little mini view from up here uh, on the other side of the ridge there now the cranberry creek uh, runs uh, in the valley below and we'll be getting down there soon enough but so far for a small preserve i'm really liking this place it's really kind of under the radar so i'm glad that we're here i'm glad i'm here with darcy and we're we're checking this place out We're dropping down along the, uh, the stream now, dropping down the hillside, and it's really nice in here. You got these large moss-covered boulders, and the stream looks absolutely beautiful. And uh, yeah, it's, it's nice back here. Very impressed. There's some nice little mini waterfalls and rapids and pools along that stream that's a wild class a trout stream trout stream but i believe the trail is going to cross the stream ahead and we'll be able to walk along it So we just crossed the, uh, the cranberry on that nice bridge there. I had heard some, some reports that possibly one of the bridges was out. Uh, so we are on the other side now on what looks like it once was an old road. And uh, the creek is to our right, but it's just out of sight, which I was hoping this trail would walk right along the creek. So hopefully we get back down by the water again and get some nice shots of the, the mini waterfalls and the rapids. We'll see. We're standing down here by the beautiful water of the Cranberry Creek. It's, it's crystal clear water. It's a really a nice spot. There's a little mini waterfall. And uh, so what do you think about the trail so far, Darcy? I really like this place. I'm actually surprised how much I'm enjoying it. Um, at first I was a little skeptical, not gonna lie. <laughs> um, but this place has turned out to be amazing. You get a little bit of everything. Yeah, for, for a small preserve um, and the one that's really not well known, I think it's a really, it's a nice spot. You know, it's not, it's not uh, the Falls Trail or Ricketts Glen, but it, yeah. it, it's cool. <laughs> so for people who aren't familiar with your channel, tell me a little bit about like what kind of videos you make and about YouTube and your experience on YouTube. So my channel is Darcy's Hiking Diaries and I basically just have fallen in love with all things hiking um, and like to kind of give you my perspective on trails that I do. Very nice. So make sure, you know, you check out her channel. Make sure you give her a subscribe and a like and a watch her version of the video. And uh, we're having a good time out here and we're going to keep on hiking. So thanks guys. Appreciate you. We're going to go sit by the waterfall some more.
entering a beautiful stretch of uh, creekside walking, my favorite kind of hiking, along a wild Pocono mountain stream, and a uh, lovely stretch here of Cranberry. When I, when I think of the Pocono Mountains, I always think of these kinds of wild mountain streams, crystal clear water. It's really the iconic image I have in my mind of this uh, area of uh, this high plateau of the Pocono Mountains. It's unique in Pennsylvania. There's no other place quite like it. And it's why places like this, it's so important to protect them and preserve them. You don't ever want to lose uh, beautiful natural areas like this. And, got to keep that water clean so wow it's just gorgeous really exceeding my expectations here to be honest with you so I'm really loving this trail and this hike today So we've pulled away from the uh, the creek a little bit and uh, we're in like this swampy wetland area and uh, I'm not sure what's going on with the trail here. It's not, we're clearly following the yellow markers but it's not much of a trail per se. And uh, this area might be very kind of difficult to navigate if the weather was really wet or uh, in the summertime, this could be a really buggy area. This is a really neat spot. We have this confluence of, I'm calling it the meeting of the four streams. You have these smaller branches coming from the hillside, and then these uh, branches over here, and then forming, I guess, like the main stem of Cranberry Creek down this way. So, interesting location here. All right guys, we're high above the Cranberry Creek and we're at this little feeder stream and above us, I don't know how well the GoPro will pick it up, some railroad tracks. It looks like there's an old stone, uh, what would that be called, a culvert? Allowing for this creek to go underneath the tracks. Let's go check it out. just came out to take a quick little peek at the train tracks here. I believe this is an active line, so we're just taking a peek and we're gonna get back on the trail. The trail is only about, I don't know, 100, 150 feet that way, so. But yeah, interesting spot. We just came across this little stone structure here in the woods. This is something, uh, this is neat. Another little interesting feature of this uh, Knopf Stein Preserve. And uh, we were talking on a trail and about all the little footbridges and little 
streams all over the place and now we have this wetland with this stone foundation here I don't really know what this is I really have no idea what this could be though I think this is going to be me signing off now from the Noth Stein Preserve uh, an interesting little trail system okay maybe not a destination I would travel 90 miles to go see uh, on its own, but a beautiful little preserved piece of nature uh, Like I said what this channel is all about discovering these little wonderful trails and just, uh, just exploring them with you guys So if you enjoyed this video, please Give it a like and if you have any comments or questions, let me know down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can and uh, That's about it. So until next time We'll see you on the trail all right, guys, thanks for watching. Gator out. We're here at the end of the trail. We've completed the hike. We're back at the trailhead. And they have a little trail register here. So we're just going to leave a couple comments about our hike here and let them know that we appreciate this place and uh, we had a great time. So that's this is the official goodbye for me and uh, Darcy here. And uh, like I said before, make sure you check her out. And uh, I'll leave a, a link to her channel in the... Uh, video description below so all right my friends see you on the next one adventure and discovery now let's go hit that trail all right <laughs> cut <laughs> I couldn't even make it across this bridge. How many times have I fallen today? I think I'm still having after effects. Man. So long, long. A little tipsy or something. <laughs> okay, brace yourself. Even though we can really walk. <laughs> yeah, like just like the, like the silliest bridge of all. And then behind the scenes, we can walk. Yeah, something. How that got here, I have no idea. <laughs> It doesn't open. <laughs> Bummer. Yeah. Could have used a ride. <laughs>